Hello, this is Ole Henrik Schelsta. We are going to blend three bracketed exposures. I let my camera do the bracketing so I didn't touch it in between the three exposures, so no need to align the three one we have here. So this is my base exposure. Then I have one for the shadows and one for the highlights or the sky. And this is how I'm going to blend the tree. Start out with the one for the shadows and I add a layer mask. Next I go to image, apply image and I set it to invert which means that the brightest part of the image is chosen. Otherwise, this, these settings, which are default by Photoshop, they are just perfect. Clear them as they are. And I click OK. If I feel the shadows are a tad too bright, I can go back to image, apply image, and do the same thing once more. And click OK. And perhaps I still think the shadows are tad too bright. Then I just double click on this layer, which brings up the blend if sliders. And I want uh, more of the dark to tones of the under underlying layer to pop up. I almost said that I said it. Okay, I pressed on the old key so I can separate these two and get a nice feathering. Preview. Before and after. Tad darker in the shadows and that's good enough. Okay. Next, I open up my dark exposure, select it, put on a layer mask and then I go to image, apply image, but this time I'm not inverting anything. And click OK. Let's have a look on how the masks look. Let's have a look at the one for the shadows first. Alt and click on layer mask and we see it only picks up the darkest parts of the image and make that part brighter. Alt and click. This one, however, picks up the brightest parts of the image and make them darker. Alt and click. And let's have a look at the histogram. Yeah, we have filled it out pretty nicely from the blacks to the highlights. So we have an image with a very good dynamic range. And uh, then I continue to edit the image. Perhaps it took me 30 minutes, I'm not sure. But anyway, when I was done, it looked like this. And if you want to know how I do my things, both when it comes to raw prepping in Lightroom and which approaches I use to edit my images, well, you can order my two tutorials which I have posted. you find the links on my Facebook page. And I'm completely aware of that images like this are not everyone's cup of tea, but I have this affection for strong light and colors, but that's me. Okay, thanks for watching.